Hi, welcome to Sunny's The Car Wash Factory. Return on investment, it's what business is all about. When you decide to open a business, you want to cover as many bases as possible to be as certain as possible that you'll get a positive return on your investment. One of the planning tools used to calculate return on investment is the performer, and it lets you analyze your projected cash flow for your proposed wash location. You need to know if your site format, location, equipment package, and the capacity that you can do will fit your investment objectives. Well, if you try to walk in a bank and say, I just want a loan for a million bucks to build a car wash, they're gonna laugh at you without some kind of business plan, some kind of pro forma, uh, some kind of site plan, and a lot of places, even permits and things from the city, you know, are already in place. Um, so the folks at Wash Guy Solution uh, helped me develop all that. Because like I said, I was very green at this, I didn't know. And uh, they helped me develop everything. Uh, so when I walked in my bank, I wasn't just walking in there with a good idea, I was walking in there with a binder full of material to hand the banker. Let him study it over for a couple days and get back with me, asking me how much we wanted and when, you know. So that, that was really an advantage to me. I felt like I was over-prepared for my experience with the local banker. Let's discuss the need to have a firm understanding of your cash flow projections and exactly what information the banks and financial institutions are looking for. Cash flow projections are extremely important to the bank and also working with the CPA who helps prepare those. And a lot of times it's important because I need to understand what the assumptions are that were behind those cash flow projections. As a good banker and somebody who's on the ground as a relationship manager, I'm gonna spend the time with the client to understand quarter by quarter, every six months exactly how they're fitting in regards to those projections. So they're very important for us to understand cash flow number one and understand are we behind or ahead of where we thought we were gonna be. What I really wanna look at are have they spent the time doing the market research? Have they spent the time looking at their cash flow projections? Do they clearly understand the cost, total cost involved in the project? Then they can sit down with me and we can clearly understand what it is they need. And what I ask the clients to do on the front end is bring me their wish list their total wish list of everything they need from soup to nuts so we don't get halfway into the project or halfway into underwriting and they say, oh, by the way, we need to add a specialty shop or we want to add some retail inside the store. No matter how much you plan, not all things can be plugged into a spreadsheet, like the weather. But let's go over the items that can be analyzed to help you determine the viability of your proposed car wash business. The first step is to visit as many car washes as you can to determine what type of car wash you want to build, where you want to build it, how big it should be, and what type of profit centers it should contain. So then I took about another year and studied and educated myself on the different systems, the different layouts, everything that has to do with car washes. The cash flow, of course, is a little, you know, is an attractive feature. Uh, the, I was looking for things that our community needed. Um, our surrounding communities uh, because I wanted to keep my my day job so to speak but then I wanted a side business as well at first on Saturdays I'd break out the yellow pages and go ride by car washes now I'm talking about full service self-service tunnel st style whatever um, and I was looking at them had no clue of a equipment manufacturer didn't know anything about them I was on the internet a lot, you know, uh, exploring, um, trying to find out who made these systems. And then I got braver and I just started getting out at the car washes, acting like I had a problem <laughs> so I could look at the equipment and see if I could find out who made it. Then I started talking to some car wash owners. And by this time, I'm doing this all over the Southeast. Anytime we went anywhere and I saw a car wash, I'm stopping and talking, you know. and. Uh, so that's the way I started basically was just riding by and looking at other car washes. The next step is to find a piece of land that you want to build your car wash on. Sunnys can help you by doing a site overview to help you understand how much traffic goes by the location and how the actual traffic will flow on the location. Discusses traffic count and volume projections and even the monthly break even analysis. My next step was site location. Um, we, I knew I wanted the car wash either in this community or a community close by. Obviously, I love the location because I can see Walmart from here. We're right across the street from Walgreens and we got some other businesses over here. You know, it's a busy area for our community, but uh, the, the folks that live out here, mostly middle class, 
Most folks work in Birmingham, so that's what was important to me is I wanted to be on the coming home side of uh, Highway 78, which is the way everybody gets to town. Okay, let's talk about the land and how much of it you can afford. The first part of the performer is the acquisition budget. Let's go over some of the numbers. The land to build an Extreme Express car wash, usually we're looking for an Extreme Express, so we only need up to about a half an acre of land. That cost can range anywhere from $250,000 to $400,000, and that can be more or less in, in different markets. The building, a 55 foot long by 30 foot wide building in a pre-engineered type of building and possibly even block construction can range between two sixty-five dollars up to $300,000. Site work and grading and paving, anywhere from forty dollars to $80,000. Landscaping and irrigation, depending on the market you're in, could be as little as, as ten, dollars up to as much as $60,000. Site lighting, if you have to buy it on your own and can't rent it from the city, um, twenty dollars to $30,000 if you want to be open at night and have the customers feel good about buying their wash and, and be able to evaluate their service. Street sign, again, one of the most important expenses you can make. That should, should always be in the neighborhood of forty dollars to $45,000. It's a one-time investment that's going to identify your property on that street. Equipment, to do it right, computers and auto cashiers and gates, anywhere from two forty dollars to $300,000. Grand opening expense, again, this is all up to the operator, whether you want to spend it in signage or grand openings and how much you want to put out there, but a budget for about ten dollars to $20,000 for that. Professional fees. Architects, engineers, site surveys, these can range anywhere from fifty up to $75,000. If you use a design build firm, a lot of times they'll, they have their own architects, engineers. That'll be in your construction budget for the building and the site work. So take a look at that there, make sure it's done correctly. Permit fees, tap fees, and municipal impact fees. These are, uh, can vary widely. They can be very low and sometimes very high. For our budgeting purposes, we're looking at anywhere from sixty-five dollars to $75,000. Then start up a working capital. We're, we'd like to see somebody have at least three months of work of operating capital in the bank at the end of the construction projects. So on an extreme express like this, we're looking for seventy-five dollars to $100,000 in the bank at time of startup to get going with your chemicals, your utilities, your payroll, and be able to keep this thing running for a few months just in case we have some tough times or weather. All that included, the total cost will range anywhere from a million dollars up to a million and a half dollars. Uh, and actual costs. Over here, if we average that out, it's somewhere between a million two to a million three is what it's gonna cost to put together an extreme express tunnel of the type that we've been looking at. So now let's talk about the financing. How much money you're gonna need to buy the land and how much that money's gonna cost. Well, there's a lot of challenges of financing that business. So getting the lender to say yes is probably the most difficult, but the paperwork can tend to uh, be cumbersome. Getting a loan package uh, together, having your traffic count, your location, getting all your financials, having your projections, uh, it's time consuming and, and, and it costs money. There are some lenders who like the industry, that are more knowledgeable about today's trends and they get more comfortable with the industry. What I like about the industry as a lender, I can look at the location, uh, the demographics and traffic count, and I can have a high predictable uh, guess on what the revenues are gonna be, and I know what the expenses are gonna be. So it's a very predictable industry from estimating revenues, expenses, and the ability to repay.